Did you know that there's a perfect amount of email subscribers you should have on your email list before you start to sell your digital product? There is, and it's one. One email subscriber. Now, if you feel like that's kind of cringy, like I have one email subscriber and I'm going to try to sell them a digital product, I have good news for you. Your email subscribers have no idea how many people are on your email list. They don't know if it's one, they don't know if it's a million, and they probably don't really care. So you cringed for nothing. Today we are going to go through a sales funnel called a tripwire funnel. It's super simple. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. But the basics of it are, the first part is your free content. Now it can be, you can do this from paid ads, but we're gonna talk about the free content. Your free content, your blog posts, your YouTube videos, your TikTok videos, wherever it is that you're making free content, that's the first step. It's valuable, it's solving a problem for somebody in your audience, and it's getting their attention. The second step is that content, that free content is going to direct them to something else that is free and valuable. That's your free opt-in, something else that is going to solve another problem for that person in your audience. Number three, after they sign up for that free thing, they are going to prepare they are going to be presented with your Tripwire offer. It's a low cost offer, usually between $19 and $39, can go up to as like 49. And it's going to solve another problem for them that relates to that, whatever it is that you have in your opt-in. To me, the best part of this Tripwire funnel is that it's completely automated. And you're gonna even forget that it's happening except for when you get your sales notifications. So there's no more, I don't wanna feel salesy, like there's no salesy part of your content creation because it's all happening with your automated tripwire. Now, the best, what I love about this tripwire funnel is that there's a lot of good things happening. Your person in your audience has found you and your free content and they liked it. They liked it so much that they went to check out what you have for a free opt-in, what your additional free value is. They liked that so much that they signed up for it. So they've just had two really positive experiences with you. Now you're presenting them with a low cost offer. It's a very easy thing for them to say, that's going to solve another problem for me. I want it, or I don't need that right now. And either way, that's totally fine for you because you have a happy new email subscriber, whether they buy the product or not. And they are at least aware that you have something additional that they can purchase. So let's hop into ConvertKit and I will show you exactly how you set this up. I am using ConvertKit because it's what I use, but I can tell you I've used many different types of email services and almost all of them will do the same function and it usually works just about the same way. So we are going to hop into ConvertKit and I will show you exactly how to do that. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in ConvertKit. This is one of my test setups, okay? You need two things in order for this to happen like we talked about in ConvertKit. You're going to need a landing page for your freebie, whatever your free opt-in is. In this example, it's a money toolkit, which shows you the tools that we use to create and sell eBooks. So that's the first thing that you need. You need a landing page for your freebie. The second thing that you need is going to be the sales page for your digital product. Now I have it set up here. It's a workshop that I use as the tripwire offer for this funnel for this tripwire funnel and I have that sales page created in ConvertKit. You don't have to create the sales page in ConvertKit if you'd prefer to do it on your website in WordPress or wherever you want to do it. You can absolutely do that but I'm showing you this example so that you can see that it can all be done within just within ConvertKit and by the way you can do all of this for free too with ConvertKit. This offer can be for me it's a workshop. This is on the higher end it's $49 which is okay in this case because it's something related to making money. You might have an ebook here. I work with someone who her freebie landing page is a free cheat sheet for learning how to do freezer mail planning. Her tripwire offer is freezer mail planning guides. They are $19, I think, and she has this exact setup with a freebie to a low cost offer. It's the exact tripwire set up that you'll see here and she's making 20k a month this 100 percent can work really well for you it won't work well for everybody but it's definitely an option that can work really well we've got a freebie landing page and we have our offer already set up these are just templates that i've used in convert kit you just add and subtract what you like and don't like change your colors to match your brand change your fonts all of that stuff this is very simple step-by-step -step stuff to do the way that we set up the tripwire is so easy, 
you're going to be shocked that it's only gonna take me two minutes to show you. So from your, let's go back to the product. So from your product, we can look at this. I'm gonna look at the actual, so this is what the page actually looks like. This is when they are viewing on desktop, obviously on phone, it's gonna look a little bit different, but it's got everything that you need on it, okay? And this is the link that you would use. I will say, I don't use this link. I go to Bitly and I create, I create a unique, link from bit.ly for it only because ConvertKit does not give you statistics on it doesn't give you the data on how many people visit this page and bit.ly will do that and i prefer to have that so you can use this link for the sales page if you want to or you can go to bit.ly and create one let's look at bit.ly really quick and i'll show you exactly what i mean so this is bit.ly this is where i've created the i've taken this link from the sales page and put it into Bitly so that I have this, right, where is it? Here it is, so that I have this link where I can get this, this data on how many people have engaged with the page, okay? So you can do that, it's not 100% necessary, but it's not a bad idea to do it. So you're gonna take that link, I'll take it from here. We'll copy that, and we're going to go back to our free B landing page, okay? So you can see this is a perfectly serviceable landing page. It's got the headline and this is my freebie and all of that stuff. When they sign up for this, they're gonna put their name in, their email address, they're gonna hit give me the money toolkit or whatever you put there. And instead of going to a thank you page or something like that, they're going to go directly to your sales page for that low cost offer. So for me, it's that core money questions workshop. The way that you make sure that happens is you're gonna go up here to settings and under general, it's gonna ask you when a visitor subscribes to the page, show a success message or redirect to an external page. I've selected redirect to an external page. I've put in that bit.ly link that brings them to that core money questions workshop. I hit save and now that is exactly what is going to happen. The one thing that is incredibly important for if you are going to do this type of funnel because you aren't gonna have a success page, so somebody signs up for your email, your free opt-in, a lot of times what will happen is you'll get a thank you page that says, thanks for signing up, your thing is on the way to you, it'll be in your inbox, or a success page like, congratulations, it's on its way to your inbox. That's not gonna happen with a tripwire funnel. So instead of that page, what you have to do is, and you'll see it right here, put something up at the top of your image, this is an image for me on this left, on the left side of this, that specifically tells them the money toolkit is on the way to your inbox. So the free thing that you asked for is still on its way to you, but I wanted to share this with you too. And then it goes into the sales page for the, for the Tripwire product. That's the one thing that you do want to just be careful about with this page. Other than that, that's it. That's how simple it is to set up the Tripwire funnel. It's basically just a matter of instead of sending them to a thank you or success page, you are sending them to this sales page for your tripwire offer. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If there's anything you want me to expand on in a future video, I would be more than happy to do that. But that is your tripwire funnel. Let me know in the comments actually, if you are wondering if it's something that might be good for your business, and we'll talk about it, okay?